tonight, bus operators stage strike action and say they are prepared to do so until the government addresses their plight. The president of the Southern Minibus Association is not supporting his members, but they say he has been sacked. And five new cases of COVID-19 are confirmed Monday. The details of these stories and more coming up. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovelace and Amy Jones. Good night. It is Monday, the 7th of December, 2020. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. I'm Lovely St. Amy Joseph. Thank you for joining us. Staying true to their word, 2H drivers refused to ply their route or pick up any passengers Monday. Secretary of the Southern Minibus Association, Vianney Jacobs, says drivers will go on for as long as they must to get their voices heard. He has called on all other associations to join the cause. Geneve Gonzag begins our reporting. On Friday, drivers on the 2H route stated that they would be undertaking some sort of industrial action if they could not receive government assistance to help with their current situation. Early Monday morning, scores of people were seeing awaiting buses on the Viewfort to Denry route. However, no drivers or buses seem to be passing along the road. Our team visited the 2H route in Castries, and as it appears, everything seems to be at a standstill. Secretary of the Southern Minibus Association, Vianney Jacob, on Monday explained that the action taken by drivers had the intended outcome. I can say now it is really in full effect. It's working well, everything is working well with us for now. We have no violence, everything is working the way we expected it to work. And all we are waiting on now, we are waiting to hear from the authorities whatever they have to say. Because our position is quite clear that we've been working from much under pressure, not making money. Up to this month, December, I don't think we can go ahead with that again if government cannot find a way to subsidize or to put money somewhere for us. Jacob says drivers understand the inconvenience being caused to commuters, but they believe that the public also understands their plight and sympathizes. He warns that drivers are willing to keep strike action going for as long as it takes to get the desired results. We are willing to go for the whole week. We have said that if we cannot, if they cannot go to our concerns at this time, the government refuses to come to us. We will continue this whole week. We we'll make up our mind. We stayed, we stayed for two months not working during the COVID, so we can stay for a whole week. And this is our intention. So what do drivers want from the government? Jacob says at such a crucial time, drivers need a reinstatement of a full passenger load, fuel subsidies or a bus fare increase. But why not lobby the government through the National Council on Public Transportation? Jacob says minibus operators are not happy with the level of representation from the NCOPT and have been forced to take matters into their own hands. Reporting for 7 News, I am Janine Wanza. Meanwhile, the president of the Southern Minibus Association is not in solidarity with his members and has described the protest action as being politically motivated and unreasonable. Philip Jabatis is adamant that minibus operators were well on their way to securing a favorable deal with the government on the way forward. The secretary of the association, however, says Jabatis has been ousted. An extraordinary meeting was hosted on Sunday by the Southern Minibus Association and it was there that members of the association took a decision to remove Philip Jabatis as the president. Jabatis received an invitation to the meeting on Saturday but did not attend on Sunday. He says he's not at all faced by news that a vote against him was made. He argues that the meeting was unconstitutional given that one third of the membership was not in attendance. And so as far as he is concerned, he remains the president, and as president of the Southern Minibus Association, he is speaking out against Monday's protest action. I am strongly of the opinion that it is politically motivated. Now, that is what I would not have supported. And as I said, um, if we are in a minibus thing, no matter who I support, I would not get politics, get involved in what is going on. So I was not even aware that they would have had a strike on Monday. The 2H, they've... We have been talking of lately, and they still seem to think that whatever they want 
to have done that I was not doing it the way they wanted it to have done, especially that track of today. I was not in favor of it. When we were in favor, they did not want to have it. But this time now, I told them after the government have given us con- um, re- concession on, re- on, on the road ban and, and given us another six road ban for the Christmas for the guys who have been there a long time and all these sort of things. We could not, there is no need to have had a strike. Just wait until they are ready to give the certain passengers. The Secretary of the Association, Viani Jacobs, says the opinion of Philip Jabatis on this matter is of no consequence as he no longer holds a position of power on the association. Sometimes if you have representation and you believe the representation is poor, you have to move on that representation. Especially our president. We had to take a position and move him from that position. Because a letter, we had prepared a letter to the authorities and I don't think he never take this letter to the authorities. About three weeks ago, he never take that letter. And we had to take a position to move him as president and, 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 and to fit the vice president as president. The leadership squabble is just a part of the bubbling cauldron of trouble brewing within the transportation sector as minibus operators say they are prepared to go for the long haul on this strike to ensure the government understands that they mean business on the matter of financial relief for the sector. Jabatis, for his part, says the NCOPT, National Council on Public Transportation, must intervene on this issue and also set the leadership matter straight. Drivers picked up momentum as Soufre and Groselet associations joined the strike with 2H drivers. They say for too long their voices have been ignored. Many other minibus associations have stated that they will stand in solidarity with the 2H drivers. Hot 7 was in on the action as the 2H drivers and the Denry drivers proceeded on the highway to Castries Town. President of the Denry Minibus Association, Francis Edmund, says in addition to being able to relate to what the 2H drivers are going through, he believes that there is strength in unity. It's not like we want to squeeze anybody. We don't want to squeeze the country either, but there's just sometimes that you have to take action when you want something to happen because, like I said, you feel in the pinch, so you must do things for something to happen. When you're trying to get something, you, you, you take action. When, you, when you're negotiating, you, you push for something. If you don't get one thing, you try to get the other. So um, we, we're just waiting to see what, what is going to come out of it. But we definitely cannot continue to work in, this, in, the, um, in the way that we're working right now. Grosile minibus drivers too have taken a stand of solidarity with their comrades of the Southern Minibus Associations. Drivers on the 1A bus route ceased operations at approximately 9 a.m. this morning. We all are bus drivers together and what affects a bus driver in the south also affects a bus driver in the north. So that is why we take a decision to stand in, in solidarity with our fellow bus drivers. Because what's happening there is affecting everybody. I, I must say it would affect the longer routes some more. But that doesn't mean that because that we are not affected as bad, that means we should just take a hands-off approach. The Secretary of the Southern Minibus Association has called on all associations to join forces for the greater good. I realize we have a, a few associations still operating. I need to tell them that this, this fight is for all of us. So they better come on board by tomorrow or later. It will be in their best interest if they come on board. Stop making us... Stop being stupid and not following us for their own selves. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Genevieve Gonzalez. Stay with us. Still to come, a Goodlands man is gunned down in a restaurant. Residents cry out for peace. Five cases of COVID-19 are confirmed Monday. And angry commuters have their say on the strike.